Inspection cameras or endoscopes, borescopes, they're not really something that I use professionally or that I'll use on anything more than a monthly basis. Now, they're very nice to have around when you need them, but my $800 Milwaukee is a little bit overkill, and I'm starting to kind of get frustrated with a few pieces of this just because it's not used all the time. I'll go over that in this video and show you why. But I had the opportunity to purchase this test long off Amazon, and of course it's returnable because it's Amazon. I just wanted to check out the screen quality on this. This is $250, still an expensive off-brand unit, and I could have gotten a cheaper Milwaukee if I wanted to, but I want this the quality that's in the resolution. Now we're gonna test that out and see if we actually get that quality. I also ordered a nine foot uh, scope on this guy. Figured if I'm gonna have two of them, I might as well have something a little different. There is a triple camera lens on that. So I got forward, up, and down. That's real simple to use. I'll show you how to do that. It's a little bit different than the Milwaukee because the Milwaukee has two cameras forward, but I can change the direction of this. As you can see here with this turned, I can't get this guy to turn all the way and get it to go one way, but not always the other. You have to kind of knock it around. And that's one of my frustrations when I put this in somewhere is I don't get the turning ability that I want and I don't have the ability to kind of keep it stationary. It gets knocked around once you move it in. Let's move over to the snowmobile, I'll show you. Long story short, I had a spark plug come loose on the snowmobile while it was running. Kind of gave me some issues. So I was searching around here trying to figure out exactly where things are. And there we have it there. I'm kind of, eh, I'm getting on the spark plug, which the boot is right there. And it's been somewhat of an issue, especially if you can't see it. And I'm trying to kind of get this a little bit faster for you guys. So I can see inside there where I want to look, but I can't get the scope in the right place. And I guess I'll show you if I move it up and down, which is great. I can see most things. I just can't get to what I need to get to because there's always something in the way. And it's frustrating, but at the same point, it doesn't necessarily deem that I need to spend $250 more to get this guy in the right place. What I want to do is just check out what happens if I use something a little bit different where I have multiple angles. And I think that that's something that where this guy intrigues me a little bit. I'm not a fan 100% of having this really long cable. It might work in certain circumstances, but here I have a camera on this side along with the light, a camera on this side along with the light, and then a camera in front. So that's nice. I can get this in here and take a look at what's happening, but I'm gonna to try to use the side camera if I can. I think it would be easier picture on this is brighter in less of a gray scale, which I think is great. If I go in, there's the spark plug right there, which is interesting to me because that's something I couldn't find before. And if I look at the spark plug, hopefully you guys can see it, there actually does look like there's a little bit of oil on the spark plug. So while I don't know if it came loose again, it is dirty which is odd. So let's switch cameras because the side camera might tell us more. It's just a button up top. I believe that's going to be our view because that's where the light's at. There's a spark plug boot. There it is. it does look like there's oil around it again. So I have oil coming out this path right here. Not cool. So whatever's going on here, I still have the issue. And if I let go of it, still have the issue of oil coming out the spark plug. That's so easy to check out on here, and this is clear. If 
I give you guys a little bit better view as to what I'm seeing and it's all tight in here, but I can get in, see these spark plugs. And if I just change my view, look at this, I can see orange, something I could never see on the Milwaukee. There's the spark plug right here that is bad. There's the other spark plug on the other side. No oil leaking from that one. It's tough for me to see at this angle, but if I get in here, you can see oil around the top of that spark plug. And then there's oil up here, still kind of a bad angle. There's oil more up in that area. Not a great view here on the other side. Let's see what we can get into here. That's a perfect view of that spark plug right here. You have the spark plug that's in the hole. There's some oil coming out and this oil is going down this side. And that is definitely not good. Obviously this is a two stroke. So if we look, the oil continues back in there, still up and around. Maybe that's part of the casing issue too. Kind of interesting. I love how clear this is. I can see everything perfectly through this and it's just clear. Unless you get really close to something and it whites itself out due to the light, but all that's adjustable. I can just push this light down. There's the light off. It's on high and there it is on low. So it's a little bit better if you're getting closer to items but it's so clear and that's what really makes this stand out to me where I don't get that on the Milwaukee. All right, I have the Milwaukee in there and it's not gonna be as easy for me to get a picture of what's going on. But that should be, that's the spark plug. And you can see it's not, it's just not as simple to get this in the right area like it is the other guy. I'm not bagging on it. It's just, if I move it in the right spot, there's the spark plug and there's the oil. And it's fairly clear. You can see this, the good spark plug down here. This is the bad one that we're close to. It's gonna move in kind of the wrong direction here. And there is a picture of all that oil we've been talking about and we could see on the other one and it it's here it's just not as clear it's a little bit more grayscale than the other one that's all so as you can see just trying to look at a spark plug on the snowmobile which shouldn't be that hard this milwaukee made it a little bit more difficult and i definitely got a better view with the triple camera style and i think that that is one of the main things that i personally would rather have is something that has a camera on each side a camera out the front and then the ability on this side to flip that picture around make it right you know, the fact that I can take pictures, record, I mean, both these units do everything well, but I do feel that the picture is better on the test long and for whatever reason. It just seems a little bit more clear, less grayscale, and I'll put the specs down below on that. And I'll try to put some specs in this Milwaukee down there too, because it's not a bad unit for the person who wants to get in, have the ability to look right and left. I think that's huge. It just doesn't work as well for me in the fact that it's a very expensive unit and the picture doesn't match exactly what I could get for a quarter of the money-ish that, that kind of disappoints me. And again, perfect for someone probably in the trades, a little bit different situation than me and I'm gonna just try to downgrade. Now I think there might be something else that we can go to in a different big box store brand unit and I'm gonna to try to go in that. But I really wanted to just try this out to see baseline, something that's expensive but off-brand and then I can look at something that is inexpensive off-brand and just kind of figure out where I wanna go and compare that to inexpensive branded and just look at that. You can see the angle I'm going at. I'd like to have this in my shop 
not have a ton of money in it. In fact, $250 is still too expensive for it to be used as a tool. I'd like to have something in the $50 to $80 range. Now I'm happy as long as I can get a great picture, as long as I can see what I need to see, and I have options. I think once we get that low in price, we're gonna lose options, we're gonna lose picture quality, we're gonna lose a lot of things. I don't need to take a picture, I don't need to record, I just need to see it. I'm sure a lot of you guys are in that same boat. You don't wanna spend a lot of money. We're gonna keep going down that rabbit hole in the future, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, give a like on this video, and as always, have a great day.